Chapter 186, Using Others to Kill Su Fengxin ignored the three idiots who were at each other's throats at the door of the Lord's estate. After climbing out of the wall, she dragged Fu Yun along to the streets. She walked everywhere and did not spare any snacks in the stalls. There was a paper bag filled with quite a few small meat buns in. Her hand, she munched as she walked. Fu Yun, Fu Yun, come and see if this bracelet is beautiful. And that hairpin, is it nice? What about this? I think it suits you. Fu Yun was pulled by Zhu Fangxin the entire time. The whole way, she was completely out of sorts. She felt strange shopping like this, and everywhere she went, she felt awkward as if she was incompatible with everything here. Getting pulled by Zhu Fangxin didn't do her any good. She was extremely nervous. As a subordinate, how could she be so close to her master? This was against the rules and was not permitted. If the Lord found out about this, she would definitely be severely punished. However, the consort was her master. If her master wanted to do this, what could she do? Stuck in a dilemma, Fu Yun allowed Zhu Fangxin to pull her along. Her entire body was stiff, and her face was expressionless. Su Fengxin's beautiful face was the focus of attention everywhere she went. Not long after she started shopping, someone had already reported her whereabouts to someone with ulterior motives. The Lion family and Su Beifeng had been inquiring about Fan Jiu these few days. But the strange thing was that they could not find any information at all. There was no trace of this person as if she had disappeared into thin air. Today, they finally had news of this woman. How could they let her off? The moment Lion Bingmeng caught wind of Zhu Fengxin, she brought experts over. She was worried that Zhu Fengxin would run to the Heavenly Treasure Trading Company again. When the time came, with Gu Jinyuan protecting her, things would be difficult. Zhu Beifeng was not as stupid as Lion Bingmeng. She only revealed this information to the interested party, using the strength of others to achieve her goals. The Yi family's second master is a pervert. He likes to have mistresses. As long as it's a beauty, he definitely won't let her off. Go, tell second master Yi about Fanjiu and let him deal with this woman. Using someone else to do her dirty work not only saved manpower, but she could also achieve her goals. It had to be said that Su Beifeng knew the intrigue. Su Fengxin was unaware that a lot of trouble was coming her way. Though even if she knew, she would not be afraid. She had just learned the Zhu Yu sword art. The fight with Fu Yun was not that satisfying as they both had reservations. She needed a real battle, especially the kind where she could fight. To the death. If she was no match for the enemy, she would get help. Anyway, she knew that apart from Fu Yun, there were also others secretly protecting her. She wanted to have a good time today and that included a good fight. Fu Yun. Do you smell stinky tofu? Stinky tofu? What stinky tofu? Fu Yun sniffed and really caught an unpleasant stench. Let's go. Let's go eat stinky tofu. Su Fengxin didn't care if Fu Yun liked it or not as she brought her to the place that sold stinky tofu. However, halfway through, she was stopped. Lion Bingmeng was blocking Zhu Fengxin's way with her henchmen. Seeing that there was only a spirit refining realm woman following her, she was very smug in her heart. She arrogantly said, Little slut, without young master Gu backing you up today, I want to see how you can still be arrogant. Zhu Fengxin ignored Lion Bingmeng. She pointed towards the people behind her and counted, One, two, three, four, Five. There were a total of eight people, all in the spirit refinement realm. With her current ability, dealing with them should not be difficult. Su Fengxin's disregard for her triggered Lion Bingmeng. She scolded, little slut, I'm talking to you. Didn't you hear me? Who is that little slut calling? The little slut called you. Oh, 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 so it's the little slut who's calling for me. You. The crowd that had gathered to watch the commotion laughed out loud when they heard Zhu Fengxin and Lion Bingmeng's conversation. Anyone could see that Lion Bingmeng was a little anxious. As for the beautiful little girl, 
she was incomparably smart.